Hi everyone, today we are cooking stir fry. The main ingredients we are going to use are broccoli, celery root, carrot, onion, zucchini, rice, turkey breasts and some leeks for garnishing. First we need to prepare all of our vegetables, which means we need to do some cutting. Remove all of the tops from the broccoli, but don't bend the stem. You paid for it and there is nothing wrong with it whatsoever. Then just cut them all down to similar size, that goes for the stem too. Next, the carrot. Cut at an angle and then into strips. Do the same with the zucchini. You may find it easier if you stack them like I did. Half and peel the onion and cut into half moons, not too thin for it will burn. I peeled the celery root and sliced it into strips the same size as carrots. Get all of the vegetables arranged nicely because when you start cooking it all goes fast. Now we go on to the meat. Since my turkey breasts were frozen, I used two napkins to dry the meat. Next I arranged the cut so that I can see the muscle fibers. You want to cut against the grain so that you get more tender strips. I transferred the meat onto a glass plate so that I can wash the cutting board immediately. Always use different cutting boards for vegetables and fresh meat. Ok, time to get to the cooking. First, we need to cook the rice and get some water boiling to blanch the broccoli. I always use the ratio of 1 cup rice to 2 cups water. It works perfectly for white rice. Once the water has boiled, we put the stems of the broccoli in first and after they have had a minute of cooking, we add the rest of the broccoli and cook for another minute. You want your broccoli to keep all of its vibrant green color, so don't overcook it. Going back to the rice, you'll want to cook it for 5 to 10 minutes. Then you remove it from the stove, cover it and leave to sit for another 8 minutes. You can see here, there is a little bit of water left, that's because I used whole grain rice. Just drain it. And you don't have to season your rice because you're gonna be adding it to the stir fry. You're going to need a wok, add a little bit of high heat oil, then add onions and meat, stir for a bit, then add carrots and celery. Oh, and be sure not to let any stray zucchini in, it's not their time yet. Next comes the broccoli and only then the zucchini. It takes the least time to cook, so it gets in last. Season with curry. I'm using my own blend, but you can just use the store-bought one. Once all of the ingredients have cooked, add one third of the rice, which is enough for one serving. Next add soy sauce. The soy sauce is extra strong, so I don't add any extra salt, but you can season to taste as always. Lastly, we add some mango chutney, and if you can't find it, apricot jam is a good substitute. Then stir or flip, whichever you prefer. To serve, just transfer to a big plate, sprinkle with fresh leeks and sesame seeds and enjoy! I hope you liked the video, be sure to share, leave a like, comment and subscribe if you want to see more. And as always, until next time, happy eating!